All right, we have some breaking updates from Tamil Nadu. This time, no permit for RSS route marches. Uh, Tamil Nadu corps, in fact, refused march of the RSS. In fact, RSS had planned route marches on October 2. RSS had planned marches at 50 sites in Tamil Nadu. Corps have refused, citing law and order concerns. So that's the big breaking update from Tamil Nadu. No permit for RSS marches. Tamil Nadu corps refused permit for these marches. In fact, RSS had planned marches at, at least at about 50 sites in Tamil Nadu. We have Dharani live with us. Dharani, what is the reasoning given by the corps in terms of refusal uh, to RSS to hold these marches? Radhika, our sources are indicating that uh, the permission has been orally denied in, you know, in almost 10 districts in Tamil Nadu. Uh, so the districts include uh, Tiruchi, Kadalur, uh, Vellur, uh, Tirupathur, uh, Ramanadapuram, uh, Dindikal, uh, Tiruvarur, uh, Tenkasi, Udukote and Tiruvallur districts. Uh, so we're hearing from sources in these districts that uh, uh, the police department has orally denied permission for the RSS uh, to conduct route marches on October 2. I remember on, on, on October 2, I know on the occasion of their foundation day, the RSS wanted to conduct route marches in about 50 locations in Tamil Nadu. Uh, they had also sought the Madras High Court's permission on the same. So, uh, you know, almost a week ago, uh, the Madras High Court has, had also granted permission for uh, RSS uh, to go ahead with the march with reasonable restrictions. In fact, uh, the Madras High Court had directed uh, the DGP Sailendra Babu to grant the permission with reasonable restrictions, you know, uh, given. So, but now we could see that uh, in almost 10 districts in Tamil Nadu, uh, the local police have, you know, they need permission orally uh, to conduct these route marches. They are citing law and order as the, uh, you know, major issue here. Uh, they are telling that, you know, since uh, in the backdrop of PFI fan if, uh, uh, ban, uh, if RS is also, you know, to conduct a march, uh, especially in, uh, in major districts in Tamil Nadu, uh, there might be a law and order concern. And that is the primary reason that is uh, uh, being cited by the police department uh, for the refusal. Uh, so as I told, it's very important to point out that only oral, uh, you know, denial has been given. Uh, no written document has been given by the police department to the RSS, uh, you know, functionaries uh, in terms of uh, the permission denial. Uh, they have, you know, called the RSS functionaries over phone and they have told that, uh, you know, uh, because of the law and order situation, uh, they've instructed them to not go ahead with the march. So that is the situation right now. Uh, so this will definitely, uh, you know, uh, become a big news uh, as the day passes by because uh, uh, the RSS has been prepping up, you know, very much to go ahead with this march. Uh, they've been, you know, in, uh, coordinating with, with all their district functionaries and, uh, you know, district local police uh, to conduct this march i know this is happening uh, i know on the occasion of their foundation day and they want this uh, they wanted this to be a, a big day for themselves so but how would uh, the tamil Nadu police especially uh, in the districts that i pointed out earlier uh, seem to be in a denial because of the law and order situation that is prevailing in the state a post uh, ban of pfi all right so no permit for rss route marches in tamil Nadu, and the cops have cited law and order situation thank you dharni for bringing all those updates with that, it's a wrap on this bulletin. News and updates continue. Keep watching Mirana.